Not all quadratic equations can be easily solved using factoring. For example, we want to build a pool in our backyard that covers a thousand square feet because the builders charge by the square foot and that's all we can afford. We don't know the dimensions of the pool, we just know we want it to be twice as long as it is wide. So for now we'll call these unknown dimensions x and 2x. We also know we want a 6 foot cement border on one side and a 4 foot border on the other side. Therefore the dimensions of this rectangular pool are 2x plus 12, x plus 8, which we have to multiply together to give us an area of a thousand square feet. So let's try to solve for x. First we'll put the equation in its standard quadratic form by setting one side of the equation equal to zero. But what now? This does not look like something that can be factorized easily. To solve any general quadratic equation, we can use the quadratic formula, where a, b, and c are the coefficients in front of the three terms in our quadratic equation. So let's plug in these numbers to get our answer. This gives us negative 28 plus or minus 28 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 904. This whole term becomes plus 7,232 because subtracting a negative number gives us a positive number. Then we have 2 times 2 in the denominator. This comes out to negative 28 plus or minus 89.53 over 4. Now because we have a plus or minus, this gives us two answers. But we can ignore the negative answer because we're looking for a positive distance. This gives us an answer of x equals 15.38. So that means our pool is going to be 15.38 feet by 30.76 feet.